Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Richards, you were kind enough to provide this committee with a, with a list of the salaries and the compensation of the officers of Planned Parenthood. That is correct and up to date. Is that right? I'm, I'm sure it is if we provide okay. it. Okay. Well, thank you. So, and I'm looking at this and I'm seeing an employee at Planned Parenthood's affiliate in Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota was paid $459,827 in 2013. Is that correct? I don't have the, I don't have the figures in front That's of me. I do, I do happen to know that okay. affiliate is provide, this is a woman who's been uh, a health care professional for decades. Uh, uh, so. $459,000. And, and it is correct that you were compensated $590,000. Well, that was oh, actually, in 2013, is that correct? Well, I, I tried to address this earlier. My I understand. Would you like? I'm sorry, I was. But can I continue? I'm just yes or no. It's five hundred and twenty thousand dollars is my annual salary, and I there was a benefit that was accrued to me over several. So five hundred ninety thousand dollars was your compensation in 2013. In that, that year, correct? and it's okay. set by my, it's set by the board of directors, and and I it's important. All to me, I need to know is yes. No, no. federal funds go to my All, salary. I understand, but five hundred ninety thousand dollars. Five hundred ninety thousand dollars was what you were compensated in 2013, according to what you provided this committee with. Correct? Yes. That is what. Your Honor, you're here. answering your own question. Okay. I think I, I think I, I think I've answered okay. the question. Well, let me yeah. ask you about the travel for for Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood spent over five million dollars on travel in 2013. That's almost fourteen thousand dollars a day. Well, that's it. Was that first class, or was any of it charter jet? Boy, that would be nice. I no, I've never. Um, I don't fly 14, first class. Fourteen thousand no. dollars a day. We have 8 million supporters in this country. We provide health care to 2.7 million people. We provide sex education to 1.5 million that people. Is correct? $14,000 a day, is that correct? I don't correct? have the figures. Okay, well, that's what you provided. I'm happy to look. I just want to make sure. Okay? I'm happy to look would, at them. Would, can you provide this committee, can you provide this committee with the records that show the modes of travel that you have taken, whether they've been first class or whether they've been chartered jet? Can you I will, break down I will, that travel for I will, us? I will work with the committee staff to provide whatever we can on the questions that have been asked. We appreciate that very much. Let me ask you something. You Although I will say for the record, I do not travel first class. <laughs> Neither do I, but I don't spend $14,000 a day either. Well, I have money. Well, Nevertheless, let me ask you. you. You've made the claim that many patients wouldn't have timely access to, to basic reproductive health care if it weren't for the services of Planned Parenthood. Yet. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services in 2015 said that there are almost 9,700 health care service delivery sites and over 4,000 rural health clinics, including over 1,200 federally qualified health centers operating over 9,000 sites in the United States. How many clinics does Planned Parenthood operate? I believe earlier you said 650 it's to 700. 650 and 700, depending. But yet, if, if that 650 to 700 were to go away, these, these patients wouldn't have access to health care? Well, I mean, I'm looking at the CBO uh, report, which is the Congressional Budget Office, just came out with a report that if Planned Parenthood, if women were unable to go to Planned Parenthood, Medicaid patients or Title X patients, 390,000 women would immediately lose health care next you know, year. The, the problem so I'm, just, I I'm reporting that, back what the, the government The problem I have with that is that the Obama administration reports that there are over 13,000 publicly supported health care alternatives in the United States. You, have you seen that? Are you aware of that? I haven't that's seen what, that. That's what the Obama administration is telling us. Yet, so that's almost eight times as, mu as many as Planned Parenthood has. And out of those clinics, I mean, we've got almost 20, excuse me, I misspoke, over 20 federally funded clinics as opposed to every Planned Parenthood. Yet those federally funny, funded clinics, they don't, have a, they don't have $100 million endowments. They don't have $70 million Manhattan condos. They don't, have, they don't spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on Grammy-winning performers performing at their, at, at their galas. They don't do any of those things, yet they are able to provide services, needed services, to women. Why is it that Planned Parenthood has got to have that in order to provide the same services? Do you believe, Planned yes or no, do you believe that they have to have that? Well, I, it's yes or no. That's with, all it is. With all, with all respect, that wasn't really a question. I would say I really stand by the fact that we provide health care to many, many women in this country the who have no was, other option. The question, Ms. Richards, the question there, was, have you got to have that in order to provide health care to women? 
We provide. These other clinics don't have it, and they provide it. Well, I'm not going to speak to every other hospital, so health care center, and FHC in the country. you think provide health care to women? I think we provide excellent health care to women in this country. And I think the That's point here. That's not the question. The question is, do you have to have a $100 million endowment, $70 respect, million dollar condos? With I, I think I don't, not. I don't know Mr. what Chairman, you're speaking about. But with respect, I think it's important that the question here is, do low-income women in this country have the right to choose wherever they want to go to for health care? And 2.7 million of them choose Planned Parenthood. Why don't you let them go to one of those $70 million condos in Manhattan and get care? The lady from Texas is recognized. 